We're back with Bob Dove, CEO and President of Hawaii Employees Mutual Insurance Company, Hemec. You've been here for a while, and a lot of times executives come here from the mainland, can't seem to fit in, and then leave. You've seemed to fit in well. What advice could you give other executives wanting to come and work in Hawaii for fitting in? First of all, I think it's a state of mind. I think when you come into a new situation, you can come in with the attitude that you're going to find things that are familiar to you and things that you like, or you can come in with a, the attitude that I'm going to find everything that's different and everything I don't like. And so it's kind of like, you know, I'm here, for, you have that, that attitude, I'm here from the government and I'm here to help you. So if you come in too full of yourself, you're not going to fit in. If by the same token you come in and everything that is different you complain about uh, or you, or you uh, try to change, uh, you're, you're going to have problems. But if you look for things that, that, are, that you like, things that you're familiar with, uh, and you try to acclimate yourself, uh, you, can fit in, you can fit in just fine. And I think, I think anywhere. I think I could work in New York. I, I know I can work in Houston, obviously. Uh, we've been successful here in, in Honolulu. And I think if you want to fit into an environment, you can do it. Uh, I don't think there's any place that, that just will, will exclude you. Some places you have to work a little harder than others, but, but you can fit in. Before arriving, did you have any preconceptions of how business would run in Hawaii? And when you got here, you found out they were different. Not, not so much preconceptions or were different, but I knew that I was coming into uh, a, a, an area where I'd, I'd never been before. And I, I anticipated that maybe the culture was a little different, maybe the business climate was a little different. I know before I got here, I read uh, Michener's Hawaii. Uh, just to try to get some I idea, and, and Michener, uh, you kind of got to work to get through Michener. I, the the uh, volcano bubbled, bubbled, bubbled for about a hundred pages before we ever, ever, ever got to have land, it seemed. But anyway, I, I got some some feel for that. Um, w when I got here, one one of the first people I met gave me a, a, a book, a little, it was a little paperback book, was how to how to get along in in Hawaii, and and uh, uh, it, it had a lot of advice and 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 things in it. I know one thing it told you is don't try to talk pigeon if you're not you know if, if it doesn't come natural to you because it and and so that's why I tell people I'm still in the uh, Mahalo y'all stage. I, I still have that, I still have that Texas twang. But the, from a business standpoint, probably the most valuable thing that happened for me in the first period of time that I was here is our board of directors had already retained a gentleman who's now deceased by the name of Steve Hirano. And Steve was a lifetime resident, had been active in the political process, active in the business process, and I think even had uh, some, some uh, history with, it, with this station. And uh, I was here about three days. And Steve said, uh, let's, let's go uh, meet me after work. And so we went up to one of the local uh, business watering holes and over several glasses of, of red wine, we went through virtually a, a synopsis of the history of Hawaii, how things got to be the way they are, why they're that way, uh, what to do, what not to do. So you understood it. It didn't just say, do things this way. He talked about why they were that way. And we went back to one of the Kamehamehas. I'm not sure which one, but, but uh, literally on, on how, the, how the society had progressed, the plantation era, all the, all the uh, importation of labor of the various ethnic groups and how things had evolved, and then why there were certain sensitivities, how you had to deal with things. And in that couple, three hours was probably the most valuable three hours I've spent the whole time I've been in Hawaii as far as learning how to assimilate into the society. That was a major crash course. It was a major, a major crash course, but the, the good thing is that Steve believed it. I mean, I mean it was in his heart, not just uh, his love of Hawaii, but also he believed in this concept that was hemic and he wanted it to be successful. And the last thing he wanted to do is see some uh, bozo come in from the mainland and mess it all up. And so he was very dedicated to helping uh, lead and guide my activities and, and uh, made it much easier than it could have been. I, I could have very easily been a bull in a china shop. And some may think I have been, but uh, I could have been more bullish. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.